a radio and television broadcaster on Friday, December. 15. Suit musician and rock and bruise restaurant co-founder Gene Simmons, alleging Simmons made unwarranted sexual advances during an on-camera interview November. 1. At the restaurant's San Manuel Casino location in Highland. The lawsuit, filed in Los Angeles Superior Court, alleges the plaintiff, identified as Jane Doe, arrived with her crew at the restaurant, which was celebrating its recent expansion at the casino, to interview Simmons and his longtime KISS bandmate and Rock and Bruce co-founder, Paul Stanley. According to the lawsuit, during the interview, which occurred on a couch in a designated green room, Simmons reached over and grabbed the woman's hand and forcefully placed it on his knee and held it on his knee. The lawsuit states the woman immediately removed her hand from Simmons' knee. Simmons, the lawsuit states, continued his unwanted, unwarranted sexual advances by reaching for the woman's hand again. Defendant Simmons turned standard interview questions into sexual innuendos, which made plaintiff Doe extremely uncomfortable, according to the lawsuit, noting that Simmons grabbed the woman's hand again, made a cooing sound and said she must use lotion before making another sexual innuendo. He then forcibly flicked slash struck the woman in the middle of her throat, then provided an incoherent explanation for doing it after noticing the woman's shock, according to the lawsuit. The woman's attorney, Willie W. Williams, would not reveal where his client worked. The lawsuit identifies her as a longtime on air personality for a local rock station. My client is embarrassed and humiliated by the incident with MR. Simmons, Williams said in a telephone interview Friday. He said his client is not seeking publicity and wished to remain anonymous. She filed suit because she wanted to make a strong statement that this behavior is unacceptable and she wants to see an end to this type of behavior, Williams said. Following the November.1 interview, the woman posed with Simmons for a promotional photograph. That's when Simmons reached toward plaintiff Doe's buttocks and touched it, according to the lawsuit. Again, plaintiff Doe kept her composure and discreetly moved away, the lawsuit states. They took the pictures, but plaintiff Doe declined the invitation to stay around. The lawsuit also names as defendants, Rock and Bruce Holdings, LLC, Rock and Bruce Holdings, Inc., Rock and Bruce, LLC, and Rock and Bruce Franchising, LLC. It alleges sexual battery, gender violence, battery, and assault, among other allegations. The allegations come amid a spate of sexual abuse claims against some of the entertainment and news industry's most powerful men, starting in October with movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, co-founder of Miramax Films. It snowballed from there, with allegations becoming so numerous it spurred the number MeToo social media hashtag.